What's up guys, Tyler Casey here and today I'm going to teach you how to import your footage and how to make proxies. Proxies are super important so you can edit high quality footage on lower end computers. This is really useful if you have super big footage like from a red camera and you're editing it on a laptop or an older computer. This video is a part of my music video editing playlist so I'm going through step by step on how to create music videos. So if you missed some other videos, make sure to go back, click the playlist down below and check out the previous video. So let's get straight into it. All right, so now that our stuff's imported, we are going to open up Premiere Pro CC. We need to go to a new project every time we start a new project. Uh, rendering, I'm rendering out through my uh, GPU acceleration CUDA. So I have like a graphics card, I have a 1080 Ti. Um, there's one other thing, scratch disk. Uh, make sure these are all set to same as project. That's pretty important and yeah so now we're gonna go to browse this is important step um, and now we're gonna go to where where is it where did I make this folder there we go and then we're gonna come in here and honestly you could just create this right here um, because what's it called uh, Premiere is gonna create like I guess you could put it in like I guess you could put it in media but like Premiere will make its own little folders. You'll have the project, what's it called? You have the project name out there, but that's fine to have floating around. So we'll just name this uh, music video tutorial, name it whatever you want, and we'll click OK. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys some settings before we get imported. Uh, let's, so let's go down to edit and let's go to preferences. So I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I like to change and adjust. Um, appearance, doesn't really matter. Audio, that's fine. Auto save. I have mine set to every five minutes um, and then 20 versions. So every five minutes uh, after the 20th version, it's going to reset and delete that old version. So change that to whatever you like. You could have it more, you could have it less. Uh, it's good to have auto save on because, yeah, you can even back it up to the Creative Cloud. Uh, auto save also saves the current project. So that would be good as well. Actually, I'm probably going to turn that on. I don't know why I don't have that on. Um, and let's see what else we got in here. So that's pretty much all I changed really in here. So I'm just gonna click OK. Auto save is really important. I'm gonna be in the editing. So one cool thing you can do in Premiere uh, is like, let's say we have our audio and our media in here. We can literally just go like this and we can literally just drag it over and that's gonna import everything. And it'll also tell you if nothing imported. So let's see what happens here. All the red footage imported and then I have my DCIM and that's all my what's it called footage. I'm not really going to be using that, but um, that's one of the easiest ways to import. Another way you can import, let's say you need to dig through some files, but you should really try and keep everything in that folder system I showed you. Uh, you can come over to Medium Browser and you can kind of dig through these. Um, let's say we find something and you can click through, you can go to Media, you can go wherever you want. This works really good with the red footage because you can actually view it in Premiere. And you can kind of queue it up, you can open it, you can play it, and then we can click Command A, right click, import. Another way you can import is you just double click. Um, so those are three ways you can import. My favorite is dragging and dropping. Let's go to assembly, and we can see these a little bit better. Let's go into our media. Um, let's come over to some of our footage. And what we can do is we can just scroll through and select. So I'm going to select all these. I'm going to click uh, Control Shift and select all these. So let's say I want to make proxies for all these clips right here. Uh, literally, all we have to do is right click, uh, go to proxy. And then if you already made proxies, you can attach them. Uh, you can re reconnect to the full resolution media. But we're going to click Create Proxies right there. Um, and we're going to go with QuickTime because QuickTime works pretty good uh, natively right in Premiere. Um, and then we're going to uh, I have some custom ones set, but literally we can just use some of these. Let's just try one of the GoPro Cineform ones. So we're going to click that and we're going to click next to original media in proxy folder. So where our media is, it's going to create a proxy folder. So that way all our stuff stays right next to our original media and it's going to be in a little folder in the original folders we made. Click OK and you should have Media Encoder installed and it's actually going to open up Media Encoder right here for you. So I do this a lot with my GH5 footage because the GH5 footage just doesn't play back smoothly. So this really helps with laggy edits, especially when you want to add really intensive effects to it. Uh, proxies definitely help out a lot. So what it's going to do, it's going to go through this entire process and add all these and create proxies for us. So I dragged in the clip right here and if you guys don't see this button right here, uh, just click this plus 
And then all you have to do is just drag it right onto there. Mine's already dragged and then click OK. Um, so what this does is it toggles your proxy on and off. So you can see this is the full resolution media and then this is the proxy. So we can see it made proxies. It's not the correct aspect ratio, so maybe don't apply all your effects on this. Uh, you can do it another way where it's like the exact same, but I wouldn't really trip. It's really just to save you some space. Don't color this footage. Um, when you want to color, you're definitely going to want to take this off and go through and color it that way. Um, this is just to help you get through the footage and go through it a little bit faster and apply your effects. So that's how you do proxies. Um, if you want to look up how to do proxies where it's going to be the full resolution of the screen that's a really long process but it is doable and i do do that but you're gonna have to go through and make your own presets so look into that uh you can youtube it but that's pretty much how you could do proxies and you'll get by this was kind of a weird aspect ratio as well and then when you export it's automatically gonna just turn this off and then export it and then you'll export at full resolution so that's how you make proxies so i hope you guys found this video useful Definitely making proxies can save the day if you have a lower end computer or just have really big files. The next video is gonna be on sequence settings, so make sure to click that and check it out. Uh, super useful stuff, definitely important when editing a music video to get your sequence settings right. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Tyler Casey, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.